Ducati Panigale V2 Best Motorcycle Review, Liquid Cooled, DOHC, 8V V Twin. Not only does the new Ducati Panigale V2 now look as mean and purposeful as its pricier V4 siblings, it's a more well rounded machine than ever, faster, lighter, more agile, and involving. Sure, you might be able to go quicker on a superbike for a lap or two, if you've got the talent, strength, fitness and fresh rubber, but you'll be quicker for longer, with less effort and a bigger smile on your face riding the Panigale V2. No current sports bike offers such a blissful blend of power and handling or goes to such lengths to flatter its rider. Produced to sit alongside the existing red finish available since the bike's launch, the new design sees the mid-sized superbike painted in a silky white, complete with licks of Ducati red on the rims, front air intakes and air deflectors located just below the petrol tank. Beneath that is a new Panigale V2 logo, which does not feature on the red version of the machine. Made with flourish. Continuing with the 959's monocoque airbox frame the V2 is uncannily stable under hardbraking and rolling into corners. Such a stiff chassis made the 1199 and 1299 Panigales tie themselves in knots on the throttle, but with more modest power the V2 dances through curves with unwavering accuracy. Showa fork internals are tweaked, a 2mm longer sack shock tips wait forward for crisper steering and there's less rear preload for extra feel and grip. All this adds up to sense of lightness, easy agility, and the kind of corner speed that would have a clumsier superbike tripping over its laces. Few ABS systems can handle track work now. They panic at the first sign of the rear wheel going light under extreme braking and the resulting loss of stopping power can send you sailing past a corner or clattering into the back of someone else. It's a relief to discover the Ducati's electronics leave the V2's Brembo's to do what they do best. With three levels of ABS, there's a safe a steady mode for the road or rain, one that disables the anti-rear wheel lift setting and lets you drift in on the back brake, and one with no rear ABS for unimpeded, muscle-bulging late braking antics. Engine It's the same 955 cubic centimeters V-twin super quadro motor as the Panigale 959, but now fitted with a Catpac Euro 5 exhaust. Ducati say power is up 5 brake horsepower to 153 brake horsepower and torque increases a whisker, thanks to its new underslung pipe, higher flow injectors, and bigger V4-esque intakes. But our dyno results for the V2 are A. Acceleration and speed aren't too different from the old bikes, but that's a good thing. It still revs manically like a race engine and has bucket loads of smooth, crisp, especially in race mode, and perfectly delivered thrust. A superbike will always batter mind, body and tires with its immense torque and inertia, but the Panigale V2's power delivery is kinder and easy to manage. Reliability and build quality. Fit, finish and paint quality are top-notch and everything you'd expect from a premium-priced sports bike like this. Aside from mirror stocks that are too easy to break you shouldn't expect any mechanical or electronic problems. Oil servicing is either yearly or every 7,500 miles, whichever comes first, and valve checks are every 15,000 miles. We've got two Ducati Panigale V2 owners reviews on the site, and it's a full 5 stars, with the only negative comment that the side stand is tough to use with boots on. Value versus Rivals In terms of the kind of equipment and performance you get for your money, the Panigale V2 is worth it, but there's no getting away from the fact it's expensive to buy and insure. PCP deals make ownership easier if you're not worried about ever owning the bike. Equipment Aping Ducati's V4 Superbike, the Panigale V2 has its big sister's snarling snout, pointy rear end, gaping air intakes and for the first time a single-sided swing arm. The V4-inspired seat is 20mm longer and 5mm thicker, giving you a luxurious amount of room to play with, which will be music to the ears of taller riders. Bars are wide and low pegs don't punish creaky knees, but there's still plenty of ground clearance. Completing the big Ducati look is a 4.3 inches multifunction TFT color screen, slightly smaller than the V4s by half an inch, and new switchgear. It's out with the 959's relatively basic riding aids and in with the same MotoGP derived electronic strategies as Ducati's 2020 model V4S. The Panigale V2 now gets an auto blipper, as well as a quick shifter and a 6 axis euro for lean sensitive ABS and engine braking control. On a slow, low-grip road or track, the smoother anti-wheelie and, non-lean, traction control will be a benefit, but on fast-flowing corners the Panigale V2 has so much poise, mechanical grip and not an excess of power to deal with, the electronics are rarely troubled.